Blast announced their roster for their friendly in Portugal. I think Christian just said that uh, he probably would be there uh, if he wasn't still playing. What do you make of the shift to a much more uh, youth-heavy side uh, for the U.S. moving forward in these, in these friendlies uh, coming up? Yeah, I mean, I think it's important. Congratulations for Christian. Uh, you know, we're glad that we're still alive and we're keeping him here, but uh, happy for him. Um, I think it's good. I think we got to look towards building for the future, the next qualifying round. Uh, we got to uh, look at the talent for the next generation, and uh, I think it's important to uh, take a look at a, a whole new group of guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on you guys getting the Fair Play Award? today is that uh, is that something that you emphasize philosophically or is, do you think that's just kind of a byproduct of the guys you have on the team yeah, I think it's you know it's it's good for the club I think uh, for me the fair play award means that you have smart players you have guys who uh, get in good positions uh, they defend from good positions um, many times if you're fouling a lot it means you're in the wrong wrong position and you have to react and try and chase a guy from behind and foul him or tactically make a foul so for me if you have smart players and and uh, you play good soccer we want to compete hard that's for sure but we also want to compete fair so I think it's a testament to where we are in the season and and uh, who we are as a team what challenges does Houston pose yeah, I mean, we, you know, we had them the first game of the season, went down there and they beat us, they, you know, with their fast wingers, um, you know, Kubo Torres also dangerous, so they have some options in attack. Uh, they're an organized team. I think Wilmer has done a very good job there, getting the team organized and com competitive. Uh, he has a lot of experience coaching in our league, so I, I think for us it's going to be a, a competitive series. We're going to need to be ready from the very beginning and, and uh hopefully get some guys healthy and confident and going into the, the last two games. No Cascadia team has ever won away at Houston. Why do you think it's such a difficult place to go down and get a result? What factors come into play there? Yeah, it's interesting. We've we've thought about that over the years, just going down there. Um, you know, it's, it's a competitive environment. Uh, you know, they've moved to their new stadium now. But, um, you know, maybe it's travel. Sometimes you think... Uh, you know, it's kind of in the middle, but it's a long trip to get down to Houston. Uh, maybe that plays into it. Sometimes weather can play into it. If you play in the middle of the summer, it's difficult coming from summers here to, to the Texas heat, um, which we won't deal with that um, next week. But I think the playoffs are always a different animal compared to the regular season. I think uh, anything can happen in the playoffs, and and I think everyone's fit enough and uh, mentally ready uh, for the task in front of them. When you look back into the season and, and you see the type of obstacles that the team has faced and the way that versatility in this team has helped you out, uh, how proud are you, you being part of that, that team that brings in players like Gustav, like Nico, that are able to do so many things in so many positions? Yeah, I mean, we've been fortunate this year that uh, the guys, as Brian has always said, next man up. And uh, I think we're proud of that, and I think the players are proud of that because they train every day out here, and if you're not getting minutes on the first team or you're coming from the bench, you, you're dying to get your chance and get out there. And, and I think our guys have stepped up. And, um, you know, it's great to be able to be part of uh, bringing players in and, and have a plan for where we want to go and how the team wants to play. And, you know, that's, that's a small part the scouting does, uh, department does for the club. And um, when, it, when you see it all come together, you look at the amount of injuries we've dealt with in the last, uh, the last month. Um, it shows the perseverance of the club and every club is dealing with injuries there's you know you hear it at this time of year but to be able to keep advancing and stay alive and still go through these injuries now it gives us a chance to get some guys back and it's going to be really competitive um, the last uh, last hopefully three games for playing time and uh, I think that's what you want as a club to have guys competing every day and trying to get in that lineup or get on that uh, roster for the game. You guys have definitely done a great job, and now a piece of that team goes away in Kurt Schmidt. Can you talk a little bit about what he brought onto the table and, uh, you know, what's going to mean to now not have him for next season? Yeah, I mean, uh, Kurt now goes down with, with Ziggy in, in L.A., and, uh, you know, he grew up in L.A. I knew Kurt when he was 10 years old kicking balls against the fence at UCLA, so we've known each other a really long time, and, um 
you know, he's grown in this role. I think his, uh, he's very good at cap management. He um, has a good understanding. He has a good eye for talent. And I think he, um, he works very hard. He has a strong work ethic. So we're going to miss that. But, um, you know, same thing with the players. People have to step up. And it's an opportunity now for, for others within our organization to, um, to help and, and establish themselves as, as the next person to come in. Has Nuhu come along maybe like faster than you thought he would? Did you think that coming into this year he would be a guy who played as big a role on the first team as he's ended up playing this year? Yeah, we're, we're pleasantly surprised with Nuhu. I think he has developed um, you know, a great amount this year. I think his confidence, um, some of the things that he has brought to his game, and I think he, he really got thrown in the mix, and um, he stepped up in some big moments. And I think there's still learning to do, and I think, uh, you know, credit to Jimmy Triori for working with him every day. I mean, that was Jimmy's position, and um, I think he is a great mentor for him, and, and it's showing in every day. Same question in regards to Kevin Lerdom. He kind of comes uh, as not a lot of people knew about him. Uh, Kevin Lerdom. Oh, not yeah, a lot of people yeah. knew about him, yet he comes in and he just completely takes over that right back role. Yeah, Lerdom's been been very good for us. Uh, consistent. You know what you're going to get through the year, um, and, and I think he has been. Um, you know, one of the positives for us, you look at the record since he joined our team, it's pretty darn good. So we're happy to have Calvin and, uh, you know, we expect hopefully three more good games from him.